Hello everyone and welcome back to the COD Archive. In today's episode, we'll be going over five of the greatest optic formal performances in Call of Duty history. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. In most Call of Duty titles, 18 kills seems to be the prevailing record in Search and Destroy. Formal of Optic Gaming managed to accomplish this remarkable feat during the Advanced Warfare World Championship. It happened when Optic embarked on their journey through the loser's bracket, facing below zero. Even though the tournament concluded with a rather disheartening 7th place result for the team, Optic Formal exhibited an absolute masterclass in the Riot Search and Destroy match. Against this big push, Formal, he's going to be running point here with that SMG as per usual. He's going to probably be going around this corner here, waiting to see if there's going to be someone popping out, expecting to jump up just to check for that scope. He'll spot one on the far side. Decides to go for it. There's the jump up. Gets the easy two piece. Godlike delivers it to him on a platter. Excellent timing there from Formal. He waited for it, but since the player was sitting so still, he was like, whatever, man, I'll go for the long range. Oh, well, Formal is going for the challenge. He wants another oh, kill, and oh. he's going to get it against the Soul. As he gets shut down, Wolf is left all on his own now to take out four of the Optic Gaming members. And boy, this is going to be a struggle for him. It's going Alive. to be. That's Wolf, the bomb that has been planted over on B, and of course, he's just watching that. Two players left alive, Formal and Crim6. Formal, of course, the man, he's going absolutely nuts right now. He is going a whole bag of nuts as he picks up yet another kill and is going in for the defuse. Nine seconds left there, oh my gosh. That was some great work there by the guys of OG Formal. Wow. Yeah, crazy, crazy play from Formal. 16 kills in just eight rounds of Search and Destroy. That's a ridiculous number. It's the most that I've seen so far. Find qualifiers where he went 17. He got 17 kills and also 20 in another game. So I'm, I'm picking Formal here. He could potentially pick up another one, depending, of course, if OG can shut it down right now. Here we go. The plant is going down. It's Crim6 who took the bomb all the way, and it goes down on A, the conventional bam bomb plant there. Crim6 just distancing himself enough now, and it's going to be a case now where Optic Gamer want to run the time down. They've only got to face off against two of Below Zero. Yeah, of course. They, those two are repping and assault, though. Two players you wouldn't normally want to mess with, but it is Formal and Crim. They're going to work. Crim picked up one. There was one player left for Below Zero, but it was cleaned up there. So Optic Gaming got to walk away after a very challenging start. 6-3 here in the S&D. Yep, and uh, that is great. 18 kills, 4 deaths by Formal. I cannot get over that figure that he's just put up here in Search and Destroy. It does end a fairly convincing victory then for Optic Gaming there. 6-3. Among the Call of Duty World War II champs, Luminosity Gaming, consisting of Stacked, John, JCap, and Formal, faced a tough situation. LG found themselves 2-0 against Rise Nation in the Losers Round 1 match, with their tournament run at risk and the chance to be eliminated with a disappointing top 16 exit. However, in Game 3, they made a strong comeback, with Formal performing exceptionally well with a 1.46 KD ratio, helping LG secure the map. This pushed the series to Game 4, a hardpoint match where we saw a glimpse of Infinite Warfare champs Formal. He displayed one of the greatest performances we've seen at COD Champs, ending the game with a remarkable 1.56 KD and an impressive 39 kills, the most in the match. Formal finished with the most hill time as well, amassing almost two minutes. LG comfortably closed out the series in game five, completing the reverse sweep and advancing to the top eight of the tournament. Now him and Looney able to find a kill, some kills, wow. but the trades are back and forth. Formal, Alaska alive, but basically it comes down to a 1v1 and Formal Ooh, wins it. Okay. Three kills off the start for Formal, but nobody's in the hill, so not too big of an issue for Rise Nation. Might not be a bad sign for LG to see Formal hitting some shots though. Yeah, he's between out beams, quite a lot of been called Every day, Mr. Basically. Beams. <laughs> And they continue to connect. He's 4-0 and now, trying to build towards maybe some early streaks. TJ drops top ladder so he can focus back to mid map. Tries to push, push Slasher, wins that gunfight as well. Hops into the hard point, and he's now got a glide bomb. Okay, he is just hitting everything right now. 6-0. and There's not a lot of time on the board for LG, but at least if he's going off like this, okay. you're getting streaks. Fully streaked out, yet to drop. One more challenge in front, and finally, he's going to fall. But the damage has been done. You don't let Rise get a point. You get full streaks, and already, glide bomb coming in. Yeah, here's the thing, though. Rise has so far out, just 10 seconds left on statue. As you said, Formal having a great game. When's the last time we've seen him in this form? Yeah, this is what you saw for three years, but not much this year. 
But when it mattered most in this game four, here it comes. They've almost got it done. They just need to hold on. The play clock continues to dwindle. Rise but now does Rise break Nation, in. they do get back in. They've got to get this time and just make sure, basically that they're in the hard point at every single moment. They're going to invest oh, the artillery no. as well. But two kills come in. John Cap's right over the top. Actually clears them out of the hard point for a moment. So another couple seconds come off that play clock. But Gunless gets three kills, but he doesn't expect slack through the fact they just go through the useless building. He's able to find one. Can TJ get the second? 15 seconds on the clock. John just trying to play his life. He knows how much time is left. He actually wins the gunfight. Back and forth, these teams go on Main Street. I don't know how you get this done if you rise. I don't know how you do it. They can do it. You know they can. There's so little time. You need to get this scrap. You can't even step off of it, really, because you don't want the play clock to go any further. And you need a perfect break into Doc's warehouse. It's got to be perfect. Can they do it? They now down just sides. over 20 points. Here's your chance. Gunless gets the entry. They're inside. The play clock continues to dwindle. It's being contested. They have to get the final player in the corner, but it's Jake that's found too. It's Jake Kep that's holding on, but Slasher finds the pair. John gets the get kill. Out. Get out of the hill. Get, it, just get, get out. out of there. Get out of there. And there it is. LG. Get it to a fifth map. What a game on a formal. What did I tell you? I said it was going to come down to the ARs, and he stepped up big time. What is the last time we've seen him play like that? He knows he does not want to place top 16. Think about Classic Formal breached the elusive 60 kill barrier at UMG DC. This occurred during retreat hardpoint in the group stage against Stunner Gaming, where Formal was looking to cement his status as the best assault rifle player in the world, and did exactly that with this performance on his way to the event victory. Yeah, and I want to point out, Formal is 15 and 7 here, but this is a hill that he can't really shine in. This is a very close quarters uh, kind of hill. He is 17 and 7 though, so he did get two kills inside the hard point. You see him on your screen right now. He is racking up more kills, 18 and 8, and we're only in the, about three minutes of the game here. He's on track to drop over 50 kills right now. Uh, but Temp, which is actually jump, is 11 and 9 and 11. Has more than double the amount of kills as the player in second place below him. He's going to be the main player to watch. He's such an amazing battle. You know, people argue, oh, yeah. they say, oh, is it Clayster? Is it, is it Formal? Is it the, uh, the amount of battle players that we have in this game? And he is one of the best, if not the best player, using that battle in the game that we have today. And oh, he's God. definitely showing it right now on track for over a 50 bomb. We saw this last night. Clayster was almost had the opposition of a 60 bomb. And if you look at the score right now, he's at 25 kills. And we're only in four minutes of the game. He can nearly do what Clayster did last night. Let's see if he can top that. Three, and there's four down as the Stunner Boys will be respawning. Stunts coming out inside of the towels. As four of the boys try to hold this one down. This is the last hill on the first side of rotations. And this is the, this is the hill where you can grab so much time. Oh, Karma yeah. is going to be watching backstairs. Going to spot one there. And thankfully they 31 will. 31 to 25 as well. Four more 45 kills. Make that 46 as he's able to take out one. I have no idea what formal is, is play. I don't know. I, this this battle is not what I've been using. I don't know if he has Obsidian Steed. Oh, yeah. We just didn't see it. But he has almost a 50 bomb. And we still have two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Can he get 49? His teammates are there. As they are going to make them spawn back rock. And this is where Optic can really get a lead going. There's going to be a couple of them inside the hill. Scummy going to find a nice one piece, but not able to get the second. Karma now going to relay back inside of the hill. While he isn't doing much in the slang category, he has been doing a lot in the objective work along with Crim6. And just looking at the stat line, you just look at Optic Gaming, you see 29, 23, and 21, and then a big old 50 bomb there for oh. Formal. Yeah, Formal's taking out 53 kills for Mr. Matthew Piper. Yeah, as we'll be advancing on, getting ready to rotate center, looking to be out of this one. Yeah, this is all but over, honestly. Oh, <laughs> the, the, the kills 56, from Formal, he's man. at 56, he's tied with Clayster right now. It's only a matter of time before he beats that right here. We gotta jump on board with him. Optic Gaming already winning this map right here. It's mathematically impossible. Karma is inside the hill right now. Karma. Trying to secure more kills Karma. for himself. 28 and 34. Starting to heat up. He is on a three streak as well. Formal still at 56. He hasn't gotten 57. 57. He just did now. Can he find the 58 oh. kill? Does pick it up now. 58 kills. Can he drop the 60? This is amazing play out of Formal. While this game is over, we're just on a Formal cam. This is what we have oh, to let's do. Watch it for the rest of the game. OG has won this game. Can he drop the 60? He is one kill kill away. This is the most intense thing of the entire game so far. Oh my goodness, he almost gets the 60 bomb. This game is over, but still such a great play out of Formal. You know he wants it. He doesn't want to get one, one kill away. He has to get the 60 bomb as we will be entering in. Players, and they just swarm the hill. There it is. There's the opportunity to get it. Can he grab a 60 bomb? There's a 60 bomb. Almost 61. Formal. Absolutely dominating as Obzi Gaming will take this first game of Retreat Hardpoint 221 to 157.
You, I just during the 2017 CWL Championship, Optic Gaming was just one series away from securing a place in the Grand Finals for a chance to face off against Envy again after losing to them in the Winners Finals. However, in order to get there, they needed to defeat Luminosity Gaming in the Losers Bracket Finals. With a loss here, Optic would finish top three, but Formal had other plans, delivering an insane 1.85 KD ratio and successfully helping Optic Gaming advance to the Grand Finals. Uh, and play big. Karmazuna here in game number one, double positive, shot looking better than ever. And how important do you think it is for him to be doing well just individually? The fact he's 20 and 11, does it make it a little bit easier to get hyped? <laughs> but as I say that, formal 17 and 7 on a six streak, he's fully streaked out. But back to the question, I mean, Karma doing well, does that maybe make it a little bit easier to be positive, to communicate with the roster? Oh, without a doubt. And I think you needed a good game one after a very tough loss to Envy, a series where they probably did not expect to lose. You could not have come into this series and afford a game one loss. Well, it's for first blood. He has really tried to will LG to a win here in game number two. Well, that first blood basically goes away as formal. Able to turn it into a three versus three. Karma and company trying to work with Bomb. He gets tagged up a bit. He's gonna be running right out. Look at the positioning of number seven. That's gonna be Saints set up on the backside of Ridge. And he's gonna pick him off. Nice positioning from Saints. Now Saints just needs to play his life here. He's going to have teammates looking over him on the bridge. So Krim knows he can't just blindly run out there, try and challenge Saints. Knows he needs to deal with these players on top bridge. Able to take out Classic. Now they know where they have Saints pinned. See how Optic plays it. 2v2. 30 seconds. Formal knows he's got him in the corner. Has to back down and reload. So a lot of players hide in that bush. They don't know if Saints is hiding in the bush around the corner. And all oh, right there. So 1v1 now we have between Formal and Octane. Here we go. Bomb planted. Two of the best NV4s in the game. Octane's going high off the wall run. Doesn't shoot. Spots him. A big 1v1 win there for Formal. Crim6, you know, he was he was playing spoiler as well as he was able to get in behind several members, but nice shots there from Formal. Fly in. Okay, Barney Red in hand. There he'll clean up everybody else. Well now maybe a chance on offense here for Optic. We only have two players up. But Scump and Formal might be enough to do it. They take out two, but Drone is already towards the LG base. They'll be able to wrap it, toss it out for reset if they like. You opt to wrap because you have no pressure towards mid map. That'd be an easy pickup from Optic Gaming. So they're going to take it all the way down towards Cherry Blossom. It's Formal trying to pick off the reinforcements in the back. As his teammates drop, he's going to know what's up. Nice shots there. Gonna challenge the next. My God, somebody's feeling confident right now. <laughs> but the streak will end at six. Formal now out to 21 and 14. Put in a two-point score. So Luminosity needs to go big here in the final two <laughs> minutes. But Optic now with drone control yet again. Formal just killed all four, and then Karma killed him. <laughs> Formal has played fantastic here in the uplink. An interception there for LG. So. Let's was the dagger. And if you're formal, you talked about the fact he hasn't won a champs and he has to come up big. He's 35 and 19. And there's a duck to seal it. Now, let's dive into what is undoubtedly Optic Formal's most exceptional performance ever, following an extraordinary showing against LG. Formal's next challenge came in the form of Team Envious during the Grand Finals of CWL Champs 2017, finishing with an impressive 1.44 KD ratio throughout the series, ultimately securing the cherished World Championship trophy for Optic Gaming. This triumph solidified his legacy in the realm of Call of Duty, establishing him as the greatest AR player of all time. They keep playing like this around the hard point that it might just. As both teams afraid to hop in the hill, Formal snaps to two. Karma with a two piece of his own. And look at Formal. What did I say earlier? Formal was at one point 15 and 14, now 26 and 17, and Karma hasn't skipped a beat.
formal continues to destroy a 6 3, 29 and 17, getting the better of his counterpart in Slasher. He's been a monster all weekend long, but there were questions. Would he show up in the grand final? I think the answer is a resounding yes. 14 and 3 in his last three lives. Finally does die, but look at the score swing because of it. Oh, oh, man. Go to the yellow, go to the yellow, go to the it's all purple. Got it. Where? Nice. What's yellow. up, glass? Hey, one's yellow. Yellow. One's up, glass and yellow. One's going white. Watch yeah, man. Absolute. Watch a white. One's definitely oh, white. Yeah, yeah, we, we, yo, throw it out. Come on, cat. Come on, cat. I got it. All tied up at two to two. They know what's on the line. Eight seconds left till we get to the second half. But Krim wants the lead. Krim wrapping the edge. Is the dunk there? It's through. That is the perfect way to end the first half for Optic Gaming. They had another opportunity to score. They tried pushing the drone forward. They tried to get a reset. Envy was able to throw it off the map. But there at the end, they clutch up. Only five minutes away to Envy. We'll see if Envy can make anything happen with the drone in hand. Jcap's able to grab one. They're bringing it down towards this lower side. They may try pushing it through this back alley. Nothing. Like a bird out of the sky. How high was he to grab that pick? That was the highest that he had seen when jumping. It may have just been the POV we watched it from, but. Super jetpack. Wow. Hunting for that first ring, doing what he can here to keep indie players coming off a of spawn. No ground given now as Karma finds another two piece. Here's the overdrive. Pop, is he just trying to back him up? Make it all the plays. It's Grim Six. Are some of Optic Formal's greatest hard carry performances of all time. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is the COD Archive, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.